Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. So guys, in today's video, Bestie and I, we are at where we go Woody's. So we just want to beautify our back garden. So that's why we are here. So I'm going to show you guys all, we, all what we are going to be doing today. So guys, stay Hello guys, so you see this uh, tree here guys, the tree used to be here, yeah the tree used to be in this place, so basically what we are going to be doing is you can see Bessie is laying down the slabs over here, because I'm going to put these slabs here, there, hmm? so I'm going to take you guys along with everything we're going to be doing welcome back guys so what we're doing here basically is that we want to measure the space where we're going to be placing the slabs so after measuring the space then we start digging if you want to beautify your back garden the very first step you should take is you should go into the shops where they set the slabs and the sand slabs and every other thing. Just go and make inquiries and know how much they're selling the slabs, the sand and everything. And then you go ahead to get your rake, your measurements and every other thing that is needed to do your back garden. So right now, my bestie is measuring the space where we're going to place the slabs. And after he finish measuring the space, he's going to start digging. So that is the second step. After measuring, then you dig. So guys, I'll keep coming back to talk to you guys and keep watching. Guys, do you know the story of this thing? <laughs> Let me just you guys a bit. So, Bessie and I, we, uh, we thought that we should just do our backyard, like our back garden for this summer. I'm going to put this slab there over here so we called the landscapers and they came to check here and they said that we have first of all they said we have to pay 5,500 euros just to do this one and the carpet grass you know the funny thing is that <laughs> you know I almost go and withdraw money I almost go and withdraw that money to pay yes, to oh yeah. but I just realized that what I can do myself why should I pay that amount mm -hmm. you know here in Europe, you have to do everything yourself. Most of the things, you do them yourself, DIY. So we just thought and said, okay, we can do it ourselves. Yeah, uh, yes, exactly. So we just thought, that, okay, maybe probably we should just do it ourselves and see how it goes, even if it's not perfect, like the way them we do it to be perfect. But I'm very sure that Bestie... I'm a nurse. I'm not <laughs> We are not a builder, so but we just want to give it a try. So basically, that's all we're going to be doing here today. It's going to take like a week, yeah. It's going to take like a week before we finish everything. It's not going to be, it, it's not going to be easy because, as you can see, it's not easy job at all. You can see that tree that I showed you guys not too long was here before. You see the hole; it was there before. So we just take it out because this is where we want to lay the slab. We're going to just make our back garden so beautiful this summer. So anyway, guys, stay tuned and keep watching. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching to this end. Right now, we have measured the space where we're going to lay the slabs on. The next thing now is for us to dig. So you can see Bestie is digging. If you want to beautify your back garden you need to do all this processing is very necessary so right now we are measuring the slabs to see how many slab is going to go to that corner so that is basically what we are doing here right now and then after that we're still going to continue digging until we finish digging the space that we measured down so that is where we're going to dig and then after we finish digging we move over to the next step so guys keep watching don't click out you're going to learn one or two things from here
of if you want to do your back garden to beautify your back garden just the way we are doing it doing it now the first thing is you, you should do is clear your grass if you have a, a grass in your back garden clear the grass that's the first step and then after that you measure the space you want to make use of thank you man so this uh, yeah idea, idea of this slab, this, how many slabs, slabs you want to uh, make use of like the slab that is here that i want to make use of now is uh 42 slabs and so that's what when we measure this this space so that's how we get the um number of the slabs we want to use so firstly you clear your grass if there's any grass in your back garden and then after that you dig and measure the way we do it now so i'm going to take you guys along and show you guys all how what we are going to be doing in this back garden so stay tuned guys and keep watching yeah guys we are on the second stage of digging like we finished digging now and we put in the sand in the space where we dig so right now we have seven slab sand this sand here is for slabs alone so we have seven of this slab sand here and we are looking that this sand is not going to be enough because the space is quite big so what we're going to do now is i'll go into the store to purchase another slab sand i'll think about five more slab sands and then i'll come back home then we uh, finish pouring the sand but before then we're still going to pour all the sands here to see if it's going to be enough or not but unfortunately the sand was not enough so i had to go to the shop with mini me to go and get more slab sand okay <laughs> wait are you going this way i'm going this way <laughs> well, let's go guys we don't pour in the sands to level the the space where we dig and i still have like two or three sands a slab sand left which i'm going to return back to the store later or tomorrow so the next thing for us to do here now is to mix the cement and the sand so after we finish mixing the cement and the sand we're going to start uh uh, laying the slabs on the uh, space where we digged okay guys i'm going to explain this part to you guys when uh, some people love to uh, lay their slabs immediately they pour the slab sand on it the reason is that so that when they want to redo the back garden again it will be easy for them to take it up immediately and then they make use of that space or do something else to it and why some people really love their uh, slabs to grip to be strong so that's why they will use cement to support it so that is exactly what we are doing so we want it to be really hard to really grip so that's why we are using uh the cement on it and now my uh, sister-in-law and bestie they are laying the first set of the slabs and then we are done for today see you guys tomorrow welcome back guys this is the third day of 
doing or beautifying our back garden thank you all so much for watching this far we really appreciate you all so right now you can see that bestie is missing the sand and the cement and you see there's a wheelbarrow there we went to get a wheelbarrow that morning before we start to do our diy job so right now he's missing the cement to start laying the other slabs on the space where we dig you can see he's putting the cement and the sand there and he's laying the slabs as well so guys stay tuned Now I'm giving him the slabs to start to lay it on the top of the cement. So he's going to be doing it one after the other. Keep watching. So guys, you see the way is using the hammer on the slab. He's just using it, he's using the hammer to hit the slab so that the uh, cement and sand can stick into it. So make it level. yeah guys now we are done laying the slabs so the next thing we're going to be doing now is we're going to be putting the cement and the sand on these lines the reason why we're doing that is that we want it to be really strong really 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 strong and it to be grip so that's why we're putting this sand and the cement in So my sister-in-law is helping us to clean the slabs and then we're done with the foot parts as well. We went to the shop to go and get the granite, marble stones and the chairs, the umbrella that we're going to be putting in that space. So sorry guys that I was talking to you and you can't hear me because I have to mute it due to copyright there's some music playing at the background and i do not want any copyright from youtube so that's why i muted this particular part so basically what i'm telling you guys here is that we're going to fix the umbrella the chairs and pour in the granite uh, marble stones which i did not record that part sorry guys so sorry sorry about that guys so now we're going to get to where you guys are going to see the finished look of our beautiful back garden. Yes, our beautiful back garden. Yes, guys, this is the finished look of how our back garden looks like now. The little space that we put there is, guys, this is so beautiful, guys. Thank you, Bestie. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. It's really beautiful. Guys, does it look like a professional work? Yes, I know you guys are going to say that it looks like a professional work. 
we really did a great job putting this together guys you will see from the beginning that it was not really really easy it was a hard work but i must say that hard work do pay like when you work hard you see the result of what you did you be so proud of yourself just like the way i'm proud of myself and bestie but guys this is really beautiful it's a must have in your own back garden if you don't have that time like you have the money to beautify your back garden i would say diy is economical do it yourself and you will never regret doing it just follow the process get all what you want to do to beautify your back garden and then you are good to go you are good to go everything we spent on this back garden is about a thousand two hundred or a thousand five hundred euros which we save more 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 from the landscapers like when they came to check the first this uh the uh, uh, pavement and the artificial grass was five thousand five thousand five hundred euros and then just this pavement is two thousand euros so and we did it ourselves and we saved much more money not that we do not have the money to pay them or we do not have the money to do it but at the same time we learned a lot doing this things so i will say do things yourself when you live abroad don't just throw your money around you see how bessie and i put this thing together i know at the beginning most people will say oh this is rubbish this is rubbish it is not but you see how beautiful it came out it's really really beautiful and i'm so proud of ourselves so we still try to put the 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 bag garden in place you can see the sands at the corner there we're going to be throwing that into the skip and all that so we're going to get more other things to put in our garden in our garden in our backyard so we're going to get a park chair we're going to put at the side we're going to do a lot of things there so if this is your first time of coming across my amazing channel you are highly welcome thank you all so much for watching this far and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up